On the 62nd anniversary of General Douglas MacArthur's landing in Palo Leyte, a group of half Filipinos came together and agreed to work for benefits due to them as children of American soldiers in World War II. Tali Balisad has that story. Albert Proctor is half African American and half Filipino. His father is Corporal Albert Proctor, a U.S. soldier who arrived in Leyte, Philippines with General Douglas MacArthur during World War II. Several American soldiers have fathered children with local women. These children now call themselves senior Amerasians. Mga mother namin sana, narecognize nila yung naging asawa sa mga sundalo nila na talagang inasawa. Albert says decades ago, the U.S. government promised them health benefits, financial assistance, and even U.S. citizenship. Senior Amerations from other countries like Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia have been allowed to live in the U.S. But their Filipino counterparts do not even enjoy that option to this day. In the late 1990s, many of these senior Amerations in Leyte have gone into their 60s, and many of them are wary that they may not see the day when the promised benefits will come. That's why they're organizing a group called Amerations of U.S. Forces landing in Leyte, Philippines, before it's too late. Ang objective namin, magkasama-sama sana kami, in one, in one voice, in one objective. Once they will get organized, once they will get together, and maybe come up with anything that will put them together, I'm very much willing to, to support. For many Filipinos, the observance of General MacArthur's historic landing in the shores of Leyte meant freedom and the restoration of national sovereignty. But to the handful of surviving senior Amerations, the yearly observance is a mere reminder of a promise that America failed to keep. Stanley Palisada, ABS-CBN News, Palo Leyte.